Well, here we go, folks. It's our second instalment of Mo Star Mind, which is run in conjunction with the Montrose Community Trust. And our second person up is the one, the only, Mr. Cammy Ballantyne. Hey, Ross. Hey, Cammy. Look, how you getting on, pal? How's things? Yeah, good. I'm good just now. Just keep myself busy, taking over yourself. Yeah, yeah, no, you you see it all, mate. I've uh, I've got a garden, so that that thing keeps me <laughs> occupied at the moment, which is quite good. Right. Um, good so, what is it that you're actually doing with your cell at the moment? Well, lucky for me, my um, my other part time job's still going just now, so I'm just del uh, delivering food to like houses and stuff just now. So that keeps me busy, like three four uh, three four days a week. I can get out of the house, try and make some money. But um, apart from that, I've just been trying to keep myself fit, ticking over until all this blows over, really. Yeah, it's uh, it's probably you probably are quite fortunate to be able to get out a bit like myself. It, it does make a big difference to your day. Yeah, definitely. Just even the days where I'm not working, I'm just trying to think of things I can get up to do. But I'm actually, it's the first time I've ever looked forward to having work in the morning when I wake up. I can go out and actually work. So, no, it has been good. It's been all right. Yeah. So uh, who is it that you're uh, self-isolating with at the moment then? I'm just in the house with my mum and my stepdad. It's just the three of us just now, so it's not it's not too bad. Not too many bodies getting on top of each other or that, so it's good. And uh, there, there haven't been too many fallings out then, have there? No, there's not been any actually. There's not been any. We've all kind of, kind of kept ourselves to ourselves, so now nah, we're all right just now. And, and what about the cooking? Who's got that job? Cooking, oh, the mum's got that on lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> Aye. She's a pro at it, so I'll just eat whatever I, can, whatever I get. Happy days. Yeah. Very, very good. Right, well, um, obviously, we're, we're doing this in conjunction with the, the Community Trust, and, and it's yeah. great that you volunteered to, to have a bash at this. Um, yeah, no I, I mentioned with Paul the other day there that one of the things that the Trust are doing is that they have the food bank, and we're yeah. obviously still, still encouraging as many people as as possible to to donate food if, if they possibly can. Um, yeah. But one of one of the other things that the the group are doing at the moment is uh, they they obviously had a walk and talk. Um, so it was a an opportunity for people to keep fit, but also at the same time be able to 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 chat away and, and make new new friends and acquaintances. Yeah. But. Uh, Current situation means that although you can exercise, the chance of you actually meeting up with other people uh, uh, is, is not really there. Mm -hmm. So what the club have decided to do is, is start up a befriending uh, call service. So if there's anybody out there who is feeling a little bit isolated at the moment and wants to, to have a chat with somebody at the club about football or, or anything in, in, in general, then, then they can do that. And, and obviously, if, there's, if there are people who are out there who can think of others, who, who would maybe benefit from, from a chat from folk at the club, then um, we're quite quite willing to, to set that up. So, yeah. you know, um, if anybody does feel that, that there are people out there that could benefit from that, then they just need to get in contact with the, the trust and, uh, and they'll set up a chat with them. Yeah, brilliant. Do you think that's something you could see yourself ending up doing? Oh, I'm always here. I'm always here to help. Always here, phone call away. If anyone wants a chat or talk about football, Montrose, anything, I'm always there. Excellent, buddy. That's what we like to hear. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, most star mind. Paul was our first one up. Did you yep. see his performance? I did. I did see. His, but what was his score? What did he get? Well, he had three correct answers with no three passes. Correct. Right. Okay. But of course, he will. Yeah. He'll be long remembered though for for sumo wrestlers doing gymnastics. <laughs> oh, that was a shocker, wasn't it? <laughs> An absolute belter. <laughs> so, uh, basic rules. Um, you've got 90 seconds to, to answer as many questions as you can. Uh, if okay. you want to pass, you can pass. Um, okay. If you get a question wrong, then I will give you the answer before we move on to uh, the next one. Right. So how are you feeling? Are you confident? You ready? I'm quite confident, yep. Okay. Cammy Valentine. Yep. Your 90 seconds start now. The first FA Cup final took place in 1872 at which cricket ground? Um, Old Trafford. It was the Oval, I'm afraid. Uh, which sportsman's autobiography is called My Side? Pass. 
who in 1988 became the first competitor to represent Britain in ski jumping at the Olympics? Pass. <laughs> what material is in the centre of a cricket ball? Pass. <laughs> These questions are a joke, man. In which Scottish city are its two main football teams' stadia on the same street? Dundee. Correct. Yes. Which British cyclist was knighted in 2013 New Year's Honours? Yes, sorry. I'm afraid it was Sir Bradley Wiggins. Oh. Which team did David Moyes go on to manage after he left Manchester United in 2014? We are supposed to do Correct. Yes, he's in. Which sport is played by the Pittsburgh Penguins? Um, ice hockey. Correct. What was the name of Arsenal Stadium before they moved to the Emirates? Highbury. Correct. Who... Oh, I've started, so I'll finished. Who was Chelsea's manager before Jose Mourinho joined the club for a second time? Um, I'll go with... Di Matteo? It was Rafa Benitez. Ah. Hard to bear. Right, I think you've done no too bad here, though. So, I started um, very slow. Yeah, so the, the, you got the oval wrong. Um, you passed on quite a few. Aye. <laughs> the cricket ball. Cricket ball, what's that made of? Cork. It's cork, cork in the middle. Yeah. Um, the autobiography, my side, was David Beckham. What was it? I've never yeah. read about my life, so I've not got a clue. <laughs> well, this one, I'm surprised you couldn't get this, because it's, it's a film, I think it was on the TV last night. The first competitor for the ski drunk jumping at the Olympics for Britain, Eddie the Eagle. Oh, Eddie. right, was that him? Ah, yeah, right, okay. That was her man. So you, you passed on, on those three, right. um, but you did get uh, Dundee as the, the city with the two stadium. Um, mm -hmm. You got Real Sociedad. Yep. You got Pittsburgh Penguins being ice hockey. Yep. And you got Arsenal Stadium being Highbury. So, yes. Cami Valentine, you are in the lead. Yes, love you that. Four. First spot with four. So Take that, four. four. Yeah, happy days. So, you have got four points and three passes. That is the target that you have set. Target to beat. Target to beat. I'm just, be, I'm just happy I beat Watson. <laughs> I bet he's, as soon as he sees this, he's going oh, to be raging. Up. He'll be, <laughs> he's raging. be on the phone. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, uh, thanks again for volunteering to do this for the Community Trust. It's really good of you um, to give up. All my time. Time. Right, okay. No, well, look, my pleasure. More importantly than anything, look after yourself. Keep yep, care, you too, Ross. And, uh, and, and stay, stay, uh, stay healthy, buddy. That's the main thing. I will do. You too, Ross. Cheers. Stay Appreciate that. Yeah.